Hello and welcome to the North York Moors National Park. Well, as our previous video about the railway walk on the Vale of Rheidol in Wales went down so well with everybody and people said yes, do some more. So, always happy to oblige, we're doing another one. Dougal and I have travelled across the country to the North York Moors National Park and we're currently staying at the Howard Rosedale Abbey Caravan and Motorhome Club site about 10 miles from Pickering. There is no facility block on that site and also the last few miles of access roads can be a little bit on the narrow side but it's really well worth it because it's beautiful, it's quiet and there are two pubs and two lovely tea rooms within striking distance of the site. So you've got uh, a huge choice of uh, places to go and eat and drink. But Dougal and I, of course, were after the steam railway. And as many of you will know, the North York Moors Railway runs between Pickering and Whitby. So this morning we drove to Pickering and parked up the van there it was five pounds all day parking and no height barrier and then we traveled here on the train and this is how we got on
Digs. So that was our journey to Gothland on the railway. Now the walk itself is between Gothland and Gromont stations, about three and a half miles. But before we embarked on the walk, I am not one to walk on an empty stomach. And there are a few places to eat in Gothland, but Dougal and I, we went to the Gothland gift shop and tea rooms. I heartily recommend it because not only do they cater for certain diets so vegan vegetarian gluten-free but also they are dog friendly dog friendly as in all the dogs in the tea room when we were there got a sausage So we love the Gothland tea rooms and gift shops, so big thumbs up for them. And then we've uh, started the walk. Now to start the walk, you go to the main car park in Gothland and we found a little interpretation board there and it shows you where the, uh, the walk starts. And what's interesting about this walk is it's a three and a half mile walk down an old railway bed when they used to winch the wagons up by rope to the village of Gothland and that went on till I think 1865 and then they cut the railway through direct from Whitby to Pickering so they no longer had to haul the wagons by rope they could use steam locomotives on the main line so of course if you go from Gothland to Gromont it's downhill all the way and that is well worth knowing and it is a lovely walk so I'm going to stop waffling now and let you enjoy the walk with Dougal and I along the railway trail from Gothland to Gromont. Oh wow, we've even got some beautiful artwork along the way. Look at this seat, look at the carving. That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Wonderful.
So this is interesting, the, uh, the original bridge there, this is obviously a new pedestrian bridge and then we go across and then you can see there and some supports in the, uh, in the river as well. Yeah. What do you reckon, Dougal? Hey? Okay, let's go. Oh dear, are you a bit poorly? Hmm? You're a bit poorly, are you? Oh dear. You're not poorly, are you? No. Right, well that is us almost back at Gromont. We've just got a little way to go. You can see the depot behind us there. We have got to get our skates on. We've got to get a train back to Pickering and I want to get a cup of tea before we do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little walk with us. You know what to do if you did? Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already. It just leads me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. Right, you ready to get the train back, Dougal? You excited about getting the steam train? Yeah? You excited about getting the train back? Yes? You heard you? Yes? You heard you? He never smiles. <laughs>